Norm Silverdick, speaking on behalf of Rational Taxpayers of Hampton, who produces the uh, yellow sheet that goes on annually prior to the election. Uh, we had the opportunity of reviewing the budgets during the process, and our organization, and it's not made up of just me, it, uh, represents the interest of fixed income, retirees, average taxpayers, average homeowners, always out protecting the interests of taxpayers who remain silent, are inactive in terms of uh, coming to either the deliberative session or even voting. And one of our missions has been to try and get more people out to vote and to be aware of what goes on in their communities. It's a fearsome situation when you're looking at 49 Warren articles and you're not up to date with what goes on in the local town politics. We're very concerned about maintaining uh, the proper services for the community at the same time keeping the costs low and reasonable and rational. And in our opinion, the budget has been too high. The default budget in this particular case was loaded with items that uh, would not normally have been there. And as such, we oppose the amendment to increase the budget. And again, we will continue to look out for the best interest of the taxpayers of Hampton without compromising services. Thank you, Mr. Silverdale.